The Easter period is always a busy time in football, so let's have a look back at the week here at the City Ground. Saturday saw the visit of Bristol City to Nottingham, and what a game it was. Dexter Blackstock scored his first goal for the Reds to earn a vital 3-2 win. You know, it's massive, massive for us to get three points today. Um, we managed to do that, and luckily enough for me, I grabbed, I grabbed the winner to, to set myself in with the, with the home fans. Call it, call it sweet, you know, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, you know, and you can see how much it means to the fans with the celebration, and I'm just glad to be a part of, of hopefully, survival. You know, great credit, well done everybody at Forest, well done the fans, well done the players, well done everyone, everybody here because they showed a tremendous attitude. Very difficult under the, the pressure that we face today, very difficult for young players, but what a result and what a finish. Two days later and Forest travel to Bramall Lane to face high-flying Sheffield United. Despite being down to 10 men for the majority of the game, the Reds earned another valuable point. Fantastic result, proud of the boys, their effort, their application at a difficult place to come to was first class and they, uh, they deserve a result. Yeah it was, I think we, uh, we came aiming to get three points today but I think uh, under the circumstances I think we're, we're happy to take a clean sheet and take a point away from here. You can't put your head there can you, you know, that's it. From where, from where we're standing we think it's a red so Calvin will take his punishment and that'll be it. Forest Reserve side continued their quest for league glory as they beat Port Vale 1-0 on Wednesday. I think it, it was a tired performance. Um, and it was a performance where you know we had quite a few of the lads in who hadn't played football for a long time, and uh, that certainly showed today um, with the, uh, the amount of effort in which they tried to put in, but it just wasn't there. James Perch gave special praise to the fans for their support on Saturday and Monday in a Forest World exclusive. On you know, Saturday it was unbelievable. At the end, a lot of people stayed to clap us off, and, and, and all the way through the game was chanting and making a lot of noise. And Monday was brilliant. To walk out Sheffield United and, and just look behind the goal and it was full and everyone was going for it. It was really one of the best experiences. Coventry City visit the city ground on Saturday as the Reds look to move away from the championship relegation zone. Forest World has all the build-up. Yeah, let me just say to our fans this weekend that, that you know we don't expect easy games any weekend. Don't think because we're playing against Coventry that have got nothing to play for, that this is an easy match, that it ain't no easy matches. We've got to again respect the opposition. We've got to again play on the front foot and show a determination and a calmness at second to none. We've got to again make this city ground a real volatile place to play and get the fans right behind the players and get it loud and get it noisy. And we expect no favours from anyone and, and we've got to get into this match having to work very, very hard to pick up three points. And finally, it's time to vote for this year's Player of the Year. To cast your vote for your favourite player, visit the website www.nottinghamforest.co.uk.